Great morning, holy brothers and sisters! For the 8th of Kislev in the Kislev Lukotim Haran, today's lesson is called Eternal Existence. All strict judgments, God forbid, as well as anger and cruelty, result from a lack of knowledge. As it is written, anger rests in the breast of fools. Kohelis 7.9 Therefore, a sick person tends to anger easily, since strict judgments, which represent constricted consciousness, rest upon him, making him irritable. But through expanded knowledge, all judgments are sweetened and nullified, as are anger and cruelty, and great compassion prevails, to the point that ultimately, even the harmful animals will lose their anger. This is how it will be in the future due to the enormous revelation of knowledge that will take place at that time. As it is written, the wolf shall dwell with the lamb, and the leopard shall lie down with the kid, for the world will be filled with the knowledge of God. Isaiah 11, 6-9 then we will make the blessing, who is good and who does good over everything. Pesachim 50a Because everyone will know that there is really no bad in the world at all, but everything is good and everything is one. Then we will know that everything that each one of us is going through right now is all for the good. The final redemption too will come about primarily through knowledge, just as did the redemption from Egypt. Since the redemption from Egypt took place through the agency of Moshe, who is the very embodiment of knowledge. Less knowledge creates more anger and strict judgments. When a person thinks good thoughts in the course of his Torah study and devotions, and through this he merits to constantly know and to understand more and more, he is thereby rescued from all attackers and accusers. All the corrupting forces flee from him, and he is not frightened of them in the least, and then he is rescued from all troubles. The more we know and understand with Amuna, the less worries and troubles we have. The month of Elul is the most propitious time for attaining the aforementioned knowledge, namely to merit to comprehend the levels of knowledge that surround the mind and to bring them inside the mind until a person replaces these surrounding levels with other new and higher surrounding levels of knowledge, thus understanding what he did not know before. In this way, a person makes new garments for his soul and is saved from all troubles, attackers, and accusers. All this is alluded to in the verse, Might and splendor are her garment, and she will laugh until the final day. Oz v'hadar levusha v'tishchak liyam acharon. Mishle 31.25 The initial letters of the last four Hebrew words spell out Elul, for a surrounding level of knowledge is just like a malbush, a garment, which has the same numerical value as chashmal, a strong and lovely garment, from which all the corrupting forces flee. The word chashmal appears in Yechezkel's vision of the chariot, Yechezkel 1, and literally means a glow. It is understood to be a force that burns up and subdues the forces of impurity. Gain glowing garments to protect from poisonous problems. For a person who merits true knowledge that is knowledge of God, there is absolutely no difference between being dead or alive. Such a person is equally bound to and included in God, both in life and in death. It is just that now when he is alive, his abode is here in this world among the living, and afterwards his abode is there among those who dwell in the dust. Since he is truly included in God, he therefore lives eternal life just as God does, so to speak, and he is included in one and is one with God who lives forever, blessed is he. Merit mind melding for long-lasting longevity through eternal existence. As always, thank you so much for learning together. If you enjoyed this lesson, please remember to like, comment, share, and borrow. And please, God, we'll learn again tomorrow.